Waiting years for Grand Theft Auto 6's first trailer is no exaggeration, and now it's finally here. 90 seconds of a world brimming with criminals, chaos, and eccentrics. Every scene tells a story, and we've meticulously analyzed every single frame to find details you might have missed when initially watching the trailer. The initial shot captures the essence of Florida, as the hues of the setting sun mirror the tone of Rockstar's Save the Date tweet released prior to the trailer. Birds and palm trees can also be seen. The bustling traffic on the road showcases a diverse array of GTA staples, featuring trucks, RVs, motorbikes, and boats. Notably, the side of a semi-truck reveals the branding for Patriot, the beer brand that made its debut in Grand Theft Auto 4. In the distance, a very tall broadcast mask can be seen. This is inspired by the real WTVY TV tower. Interestingly, this structure marks the highest point in all of Florida, and I'm sure that players can't wait to pull off daring stunts centered around this iconic landmark. In the center of the shot, the guard towers of a penitentiary come into view. As the trailer transitions to the next shot, the focus shifts to its barbed wire-topped fencing. This appears to be the prison where Lucia, our protagonist, was incarcerated. Our initial glimpse of Lucia emphasizes the remarkable advancement in detail surpassing even the graphical finesse of Red Dead Redemption 2. Her hair stands out as one of the most realistic representations seen in games, with lighting from the window intricately capturing the texture and movement of its waves. This level of detail becomes more apparent as the shot transitions to feature Stephanie, a staff member at the Leonida Department of Correction. The lanyard across Stephanie features the facility's name, while Lucia's prison uniform bears the initials LDC. Stephanie's query to Lucia regarding her reason for being there hints that the game might commence with Lucia committing a crime and subsequently being sent to the LDC. If you look closely at the key art, Lucia can be seen wearing an electronic tag on her ankle. This suggests that a significant portion of GTA 6's narrative might take place after she's been released on probation. The aerial view of the ocean not only displays impressive water effects but also features diverse marine life. On the left, four dolphins gracefully breach the surface, while on the right, a lurking shark is is visible beneath the waves. The camera pans up to reveal a bustling beach scene, reminiscent of either Washington or Ocean Beach, two iconic seafronts from GTA Vice City. Slicing through the sky is a Maverick helicopter, a significant inclusion from the Vice City era where helicopters were first introduced. Their prominent display in this trailer could be a deliberate homage to GTA 6's nostalgic roots. Gliding through the skyline is a Dodo plane, initially featured in Vice City's Dildo Dodo mission, towing a sizable banner that reads 919 Vice City. Why 69 when you can 919? This appears to be a playful twist on Miami's real life 1111 nightclub. The coastal architecture showcased along the beach and in subsequent shots distinctly echoes Miami's essence, the very inspiration behind Vice City. While numerous buildings mirror Miami's overall ambience, certain structures serve as digital replicas of real world locations. Notably to the right, a tower block with a distinctive hole in its roof closely resembles 500 Brickle, a twin tower condominium development situated on Brickle Avenue. The transition to a rural setting likely reflects the Florida Everglades, demonstrating GTA 6's expansive landscape. Similar to GTA 5, where the city was just one part of the map, this variation in scenery hints at the diverse environments players can expect in the game. In this scene, an airboat is seen navigating the wetlands, hinting at one of the transportation modes available for traversing these areas. These wetlands are teeming with a higher concentration of wildlife than ever before seen in a GTA game. In this scene, Florida's iconic features, such as flamingos and crocodiles, stand against a backdrop of intricately detailed foliage. This imagery evokes reminiscent feelings of the bayou seen in Red Dead Redemption 2. On the beach, Rockstar's crowd technology shines through with a vast array of individuals and diverse body types each engaged in unique activities. Some are seen sunbathing, while others are capturing, shall we say, rather intriguing photos. Dogs seem to have made a return as well, which is great news. Above, a sea sparrow can be spotted flying, a nostalgic nod to the original Vice City. This helicopter, equipped with pontoons for water landings, was notably present at the Versetti Estate. The beachscape is adorned with blue and white parasols bearing the inscription Vice Beach, confirming the reimagining of the location from the original Vice City for the HD universe. This coastal area is akin to GTA's version of Miami's South Beach. In the distant background, a structure named Bayfront Heights stands, likely a luxurious seaside apartment complex. This hints at a possible acquisition for players in GTA 6's online mode. At a different waterfront, boats swiftly navigate past Port Vice City, distinguished by the PBC logo 
logo adorning the blue shipping cranes. This scene pays homage to the opening of Michael Mann's Miami Vice, a pivotal inspiration for the original Vice City. On the docked freighter, cargo containers from two legacy GTA shipping companies, Biljico and Jetsam, are visible. These companies were initially introduced in GTA V. In this sequence, Lucia appears to be exhibiting erratic behavior along the Vice City Highway, while someone in the left lane of a car films her. Given the emphasis on social media in later parts of the trailer, this scene might depict Lucia's attempt to gain attention or become viral on the in-game social media platform. The road signs display directions for Kelly County, VCI Airport, Catalan Boulevard, and Stockyard Downtown. Kelly County likely represents the broader Florida area beyond Vice City, resembling how GTA V featured Blaine County when venturing past the limits of Los Santos. VCI Airport appears to be the HD Universe's equivalent of what was previously known as Escobar Airport. In the distance, there's a glistening skyscraper with a distinctive hole, probably a nod to Miami's renowned Atlantis Condominium. This building was also showcased in the original Vice City game. This vibrant area, adorned with stunning street art and impressive cars, seems to be GTA 6's reimagining of Miami's Wynwood neighborhood, an open-air museum filled with vibrant murals, craft breweries, and a diverse cultural scene. The array of vehicles hints at extensive car customization options, featuring large rims, lowered suspensions, and striking custom paint jobs. Among the parked vehicles, a new variant of the Nagasaki Carbon RS can be seen, a bike initially exclusive to GTA V's Collector's Edition. In GTA V, it's solely available in black, but it seems GTA VI will introduce new options, like this geometric design in gray and white. No GTA game is complete without a strip club, and in this scene, from the abundance of singles scattered across the stage and floor as well as the sign, Make It Rain Mondays, it's evident that it's the start of the week. Despite lacking an F1 theme, it seems unlikely this is the pole position club from the original Vice City. A man near the stage appears to be enjoying himself and is sporting a Dolls of Destruction tour shirt. While there's a real punk metal band with that name, it's unclear if they're associated with GTA 6. The back of the shirt lists locations the band has played on the tour, including GTA 4's Liberty City and Alderney City, the trio of cities from San Andreas, Los Santos, Las Venturas, and San Fierro, and of course Vice City. In this scene of two men shaking hands, the foreground man sports a dark blue bandana tied in a manner similar to the purple bandanas worn by the Haitians in the original Vice City. This hints at the potential return of those gangs in the upcoming game. This aerial view of the city excellently demonstrates Rockstar's precise depiction of Miami. The area closely resembles its real-life counterpart. Further down the road, there's an illuminated tennis court, implying that sports-related activities will be making a comeback in the game. This scene evokes strong nostalgia for Vice City. It's the HD Universe's recreation of the original game's iconic boardwalk, featuring the Ocean View Hotel, Tommy Versetti's initial safe house. The familiar retro yellow and white oceanic car parked outside adds to the nostalgia. Adjacent is the Boardwalk Hotel, inspired by Miami's Colony Hotel. Further back, hanging from Hotel Dixon's facade, flags representing Peru and Haiti are visible in the background. This signals the diverse Central and South American cultures that have found their place in Vice City. Parked in front of the hotels are an assortment of GTA's cherished hypercars. The most recognizable is likely the Cheetah, a retro white vehicle inspired by the 1980s classic Ferrari Testarossa. Behind it sits a blue Porsche-like Fister Comet. Positioned in the front is a red hardtop Carbon Azar, drawing inspiration from the Ferrari F12. Additionally, there are GTA counterparts resembling the Dodge Charger, Corvette C8, and more concealed among the traffic. On the sidewalk, there's a beggar accompanied by an iguana on his shoulder, a mere glimpse of the diverse characters encountered during the city exploration. Nightclubs have been a GTA staple, so it's no shock to spot one here, given that club ownership played a significant role in both the original Vice City and GTA Online. Speculation arises about the potential ability to purchase and manage this particular club in the game. This aerial view distinctly showcases the Florida Keys and further indicates GTA 6's aspirations beyond the city confines. On the right side, a bridge is visible, appearing either abandoned or undergoing construction. It's highly likely that players will engage in stunts at this location. At the top of the screen, another GTA aerial icon is the blimp. This particular one is modeled after the Fat Albert Blimp, known for patrolling the real Florida Keys since 1978 in efforts to combat drug smuggling. In the subsequent scene, a rooftop party showcases Rockstar's impressive hair technology, allowing hair to fall and flow realistically across the woman's shoulders. While not explicitly confirmed, there's a possibility that this could be Lucia herself. 
If so, it suggests a significant change in her financial status, as she's seen wearing a swimsuit bearing the SN logo of Sasanta Nove, an exclusive fashion brand initially introduced in GTA 5. It appears that Vice City now boasts its own airport sign akin to Miami's. Positioned as if to welcome visitors, the sign is visible with the air traffic control tower of the VCI airport in the background. As mentioned earlier, the trailer prominently displays social media clips. While it's uncertain how it will integrate into the story and gameplay, it's apparent that Rockstar aims to mock influencers and superficial online behavior in GTA 6. In this scene, an account named Dad Bod Squad presents an older gentleman surrounded by women significantly younger than him, with a caption playfully referencing the concept of a sugar daddy. The gold-rimmed follow button implies that this clip might have been uploaded to Snapmatic, an Instagram parody within GTA, recognized by its gold branding back in GTA 5. A post from Poach, also known as Protection of Animals and Controlled Huntings, illustrates how Florida's wildlife will pose various challenges even within urban areas. Car culture is said to be a significant component of GTA 6, evident from the meetup depicted from two perspectives. There's an aerial shot capturing the gathering around a donut, along with a social media video showing a woman dancing on the roof of a car. The security footage from a gas station not only captures a wandering alligator in an unexpected place, but also highlights the intricate interiors featured in GTA 6. The shelves brimming with products, the bakery display, and the lottery ticket counter showcase meticulous detailing, making this convenience store as finely crafted as any exterior location in the game. Body cam footage depicts what seems to be undercover police forcefully entering an apartment door. Adjacent to the scene, a Beware of the Dog sign displays an image resembling GTA 5's cherished character, Chop. Arrow Gasoline from GTA Online makes a return, but it's the weather effects that stand out in this shot. Florida's renowned weather shifts, from scorching sun to torrential rain, are evident in the storm brewing, captured within these clouds. The social media account sharing this clip is named Planet Leonida Man, a play on words referencing Florida's GTA counterpart, Leonida, and the infamous Florida Man internet meme known for peculiar behaviors in the state. For instance, this nearly naked individual fleeing from law enforcement. The officer belongs to the Leonard County Sheriff Department, indicated by the parked car on the left side of the screen. The earlier sighting of the Kelly County sign suggests that the GTA 6 map will encompass multiple counties, extending beyond Vice City itself. In the next social media clip from General Custard Cannon, there's a nod to the concept of the Leonida Man, humorously noting that only in Leonida is a crotch grab an apology for bad driving. This incident is of course captured on camera for Snapmatic and the GTA equivalent of TikTok. The billboard in the background of the clip teases even more unconventional behavior, stating that someone is wanted for panty sniffing. The road signs shown here direct to VCI Airport, Kelly County, Port VC, and the Keys, locations previously seen in other shots. However, how these locations interconnect remains a mystery until the complete map of the game is revealed. Additionally, a sign for Vice Beaches hints at the possibility that multiple beaches from the original Vice City may be present in some capacity within the game. This truck features glittery green bodywork, possibly attributed to the Vice vinyl sticker displayed on the window. This suggests that vinyl wraps might play a significant role in GTA 6's car customization, offering more vibrant color options beyond traditional paintwork. Additionally, the Rideout Custom sticker further hints at businesses that could provide diverse customization choices within the game. The individual riding on this truck is sporting a red bandana tied around his neck, reminiscent of the Cuban gang who wore similar bandanas in the original Vice City. Although we're reluctant to emphasize the nearly naked old man tending to his garden, his character model showcases the exceptional level of detail Rockstar has incorporated into GTA, notably evident in the sunburn across his shoulders. In this social media clip from the Mud Club, labeled Thrillbillies, the scene features individuals engaged in off-road racing, a characteristic satire of the southern state culture. The recognizable frame of the Liberator monster truck is visible on the right side of the screen. Additionally, a fan in the crowd is spotted wearing a Liberator t-shirt, possibly hinting at an opportunity for players to partake in similar activities within the game. This clip featuring a daunting woman wielding dual hammers directly references a viral video from Chatsworth, Los Angeles, depicting a woman going on a mini rampage with hammers to drive away her neighbor. As this unfortunate individual hits the ground, a bottle of Cerveza Baracho beer, GTA's parody of Corona, is visible in his hand. This bill Billboard humorously mocks America's peculiar pharmaceutical industry, showcasing an advertisement for Angstipan, America's favorite dissociative. It claims to cure emotion, yet the fine print warns to use it with extreme caution as the sudden urge to think could be life-threatening. 
The sign at the nearby mall lists several new brands introduced into the GTA universe, such as Callus, Scala, and Alpha. Once more, we witness further evidence of Rockstar's advanced technology with the wad of dollar bills Lucia holds in her hand, which seemingly showcases individually rendered notes. In this footage from Weasel News, the GTA parody of Fox News, a news bulletin headlines a story about a man flipping his car after a dine and dash incident. Next, we encounter another news organization, this time the Spanish language Mega Noticias. The segment focuses on a character resembling the Florida Joker, a tattoo model arrested multiple times. His tattoos are based on Jared Leto's Joker designs from Suicide Squad, evident in the impenitent tattoo across his forehead. The headline translates to confession written in ink for tattoos, explaining that his neck tattoos helped police identify him. The news piece's backdrop features a large Florida-style police badge, with the text in the bottom half referring to Vicedale County, adding yet another county to the list. Here we witness what seems to be a motorcycle gang, potentially offering insight into one of the gangs Lucia may become involved with. The Weasel News Bulletin makes a return, this time showcasing an aerial view of bikers tearing through the streets. Previous GTA games have portrayed game events via radio news bulletins. It's possible that GTA 6 will take this further by integrating these events into television news broadcasts. In the following clip from High Rollers Mag, a man is spotted wearing a Righteous Slaughter t-shirt. This references the Call of Duty-like game played by Michael's son in GTA 5. It seems the game has evolved or had several sequels, given that it's been a decade since our last visit to Los Santos. The shirt features the subtitle Blood Ops, a direct nod to the Black Ops series. The truck on the right side of the screen showcases a Sound for Sound sticker in the rear window and is filled with vinyl and sound equipment. This could potentially hint at one of Vice City's new radio stations in GTA 6. The green car in the left lane displays its own window sticker, stating Raised by Rideout Customs, providing another clue about the potential car customization options available in the game. A street sign directing northward indicates waning sands, likely representing another beach location featured on the map. In this scene, Lucia and her partner are prepared for criminal activities, concealing their faces with bandanas. As they move through the store, various familiar GTA brands are visible, such as E. Cola, Benedict Light Beer, Cerveza Baracho, Lager Beer, and Fat Chips. Additionally, Pibwasser makes a return, now in the new 9 alcohol-free variant. It appears that in GTA 6, the pawn and gun store might emerge as a reliable merchant for firearms. The sign indicates its location in Port Gellhorn. It's uncertain if this is the sole provider of our weaponry needs or if ammunition will make a return. The car driven by Lucia and her partner is a D-Class Tulip, initially introduced in GTA Online. Adorned with bumper stickers, many of their significances are yet to be understood. However, one sticker stands out, saying Arrest Andrew, sparking curiosity about Andrew's misdeeds and what he's been involved in. In this motel room scene, it's apparent that Lucia and her partner share a romantic relationship. They're pledged to trust each other, considering the trend in other Rockstar games often foreshadows an inevitable betrayal or conflict. While Lucia's partner's name remains unknown, what's evident is Rockstar's incredible attention to detail, extending even to his chest hair. The duo storm into a store for a robbery. Looking closely at the shop front reveals that it's an Uncle Jack's liquor store that they target. A sign on the shop window humorously declares their policy against accepting cash stored in underwear. Additionally, there's an advert for dignity priced at 99 cents. Another sticker reads Petty Forever, which refers to the Tom Petty song featured in the trailer. The song Love is a Long Road was likely chosen due to its thematic connection to the game's storyline. It hints at Lucia and her partner enduring a challenging and extended journey as their relationship progresses. The song was a hit in 1989 and nostalgically refers to the iconic 80s setting of the original Vice City. Petty's song Running Down a Dream was also featured on the Vice City soundtrack. And lastly, the anticipated release window is set for 2025. Many of us hope for an earlier launch, but Rockstar is known for their methodical pace. A press release confirmed GTA 6's availability on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. As expected, the game will initially be exclusive to consoles. While details about a PC release are still under wraps, if past trends hold, we might expect it to arrive the following year. That's our comprehensive breakdown of the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. If there's anything we might have missed, feel free to share it in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all the latest updates and content related to GTA 6.